Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hello children, Cole Mab is back again. So did you all watch the video? Yes, how to submit your work? Please do watch the video carefully and please, please, please submit your work. And if you have missed out the video, do not worry. I am going to play it one more time just after the session. Okay, so come on. La 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 I am super ready Paddy. Are you all ready? Yes children, today we are flying somewhere. So where are we flying? Come on, come on. Any guesses where are we going to fly today? Today we are going to have a look over two different continents and we are going to explore it. Come on, come on. Any guesses? Yes, yes, you can definitely write it in your checkbox. I can see that. Yes, let me give you one hint, okay? The continents, the name starts with North and South. Come on, come on, tell me, tell me, which are these continents? Oh, oh, so give me a high five because most of my children have guessed it right. Today, we are going to explore North America and South America which are two different continents. Yes, North America and South America. And together they are known as Americans. Together they are known as Americans, but actually they are two different continents, the South America and the North America. So come on, let me share few facts about South America with you all. Okay, so you know children, South America is an amazing place and it is a very, 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 very huge place. Yes, it is population of about 420 million people. Oh my, my, it's really very huge and densely populated, right? One more amazing fact is that, you know, the life expectancy of males are of about 42 years over here. And for female, it's about 49 years. It's a good amount, right? It's the life expectancy of males and females. And, 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 ting tong, ting tong. We have doorbells at our place, right? But children, you know, one place that is known as Paragyo. Paragyo in South America, they do not have doorbells at their home. Oh my, my, it's amazing to know that, right? Yes. And... Amazon River is the largest and the longest river over here. And, 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 and there are so many different amazing things which we would love to learn about South America. So come on children, stay tuned.
soon i am going to take you along with me to the tour of south america so come on let's have a virtual trip are you all ready ready so for that you are going to show me your thumbs up and make your thumb jazz ding 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 come on wear your shadows wear your hat and let's go to the virtual trip of south america here we go wow let's go to south america which is surrounded by pacific ocean and atlantic ocean yes south america is continent with about 12 countries and the special features are the amazon river the angel falls and the atacama desert and amazing green forest that is amazon green forest so come on let's go and visit amazon river come on come on everybody we are going to do boating and let's go to amazon river it is home to the large green forest in the world the amazon river is really vast region it is really very big and it has water more than 8 rivers oh oh we are sailing be careful children let's go the amazon river is really very big and you know it has so many different varieties of animals about 40000 plant species 1300 bird species and 3000 types of fish is also oh my god so many insects all around right and you know amazon river is the second long river in the world and it has so many water animals also yes 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 look at them oh my god dolphins wow oh oh see look at the dolphins they are enjoying in this vast amazon river right there are so many different type of water animals also inside this amazon river as it is surrounded by so many different types of trees also it is a home to many insects and animals look at the picture so many varieties of water animals right and kanja pyra fish and here is a special fish which we find here in amazon river that is piranha fish piranha fish are of different types there are 20 different type of species of piranha fish and look at the sharp teeth the teeth are so sharp right oh i am so scared the piranha fishes have really very sharp teeth and they hunt in a group of hundreds be careful children see there are so many different piranha fish over here okay children so let me tell you one story here is a boy jackson who was enjoying the boating in the river amazon but 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 see there are so many fish over here in the river and this jackson was not careful so he fell down and he ran and ran and he was there in the river but soon the fish caught him oh my god and now the piranha fish knew that there was food for them as they saw a red blood they came and everyone was ready for their dinner oh 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 oops so children be very careful while you are in amazon river now let's move to amazing country of south america that is brazil this is the flag of brazil and you know brazil is a biggest country it covers half of the continent okay so now let's move to another country that is ecuador ecuador is the smallest country in south america which is really very famous for its orchids now let's move to atacama desert which is really very dry place but children this is the best place to have a star glance look at the beauty at night right it's amazing and let's move to angel falls also 
which are the highest waterfalls of south america it's evening time the river is looking really very beautiful and it's time to go back so come on children let's move to north america so say bye bye to south america bye bye oh my my we are so tired right it was fun watch knowing a little more about south america but children wait 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 we are still going to explore north america yes north america is a continent with the countries about 23 in number yes it's a huge 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 continent and you know densely populated is usa but land wise canada is the biggest country of north america okay so before we move to north america let me change my hat ha huh? because over there we are going to wear some different kind of a hat yes let me show it to you this is a special hat which i am going to wear it while going virtual trip to north america you know what is this this is some red row it's a special kind of a hat which is really very famous in north america do not worry we are going to make this sombrero art also but before that let us all go to the virtual trip to north america okay let's move to north america which is the third largest continent and has 23 countries it is surrounded by pacific ocean atlantic ocean and arctic ocean Mexico has the largest population and the USA is the richest country over here. Let us see some of the attractions. The Niagara Falls and the Disneyland are famous attractions. Okay, so now let's move to North America. Tighten up your seat belts. So North America is really famous from islands to streets. It has over 23 countries and it is the third largest continent of the world. It has huge mountain ranges. The Sierra Madre mountain range includes many volcanoes that stretch across Mexico. There are different varieties and species of animals we can found over here. There are huge grasslands too. and yes there is a canadian shield which have rocks which are 1 billion years old look at the rocks children there are mountains to wetlands including florida everglades yes which has a diverse ecosystem which is home to over 20 rare and endangered species if you are looking for the fun in the sun then head to caribbean the dominican republic is the most popular island with more than 4 billion tourists each year now let's move to central america which is really diverse place which has different animals like poison black frog then ocelot monkeys and jaguar oh my my It is a place to the ra- mountain ranges and to different animal varieties which we find over here. Lovely, isn't it? The scorpio, the rangers. Oh my my! We can see different water animals also over here. The dolphins, the shark, and much more. So. the native americans are the descendant who were the first one to settle in north america yes so it's amazing place to go and to have fun there are 360 million people living in this 23 countries and mexico is the home over for 21 million people oh my god and USA is the biggest country over here where the ground is hotter than the air in Death Valley. Yes, see the valleys which are really very dry and so hot. But if you are 
feeling hot that let's move and let's feel the cool breeze of superior lakes and which are really very cool and filled with varieties of animals so children be ready because we are going to explore usa in detail in the next session right so we are going to enjoy all these beautiful places in the next session where we are going to travel virtually to united states of america wow we learned so many different facts about north america also right children so now come on let's do some art and craft are you all ready with your scissors and with your art materials because today we are going to create this sombrero hat look at the beautiful hat which we are going to make and we are going to wear i know this is little tiny for me but this will fit you perfectly so sombrero is a type of a hat which is really very famous in north america it is basically a shadow work shadow means this hat will protect the kids the adults from the sun yes this is really very famous of north america so we are going to make this hat so come on let's begin but 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 children you have to promise me that you all are going to make this along with kobal ma'am and you are going to share your work right everybody is going to share and they are going to submit their work on the portal how to submit it so for that i'm going to share a video one more time but children do not forget to share your work along with kobal ma'am because i will be waiting to see your work right i would really love and i would really like to see your work so please submit your sombrero hat okay so come on now let's begin it along with kobal ma'am yes come on children let's begin so to make sombrero a typical type of a hat we will require a plate yes bachcha you can use any plate plastic plate paper plate anything and we will require a cup a glass okay plastic glass paper glass anything is fine okay we will require scissor we will require ribbons if you don't have ribbons uh, you can just make paper strip ribbons that is also fine okay or any thread you can use and few colorful tidbits i have taken glittery tidbits but you can even choose any colorful tidbits so now what i am going to do is i am going to take a paper plate and as it is plain i am going to decorate it you can decorate the way you want okay i am going to decorate it with colors i am going to color it yes but if your paper plate is already colored if it is of different colors then what you can do is you can decorate it okay i'm going to make it colorful see like this any color and color it nicely if your plate is already decorated if it is a uh, thermocol plate or something like that you can stick pom poms you can stick tidbits anything okay so we are going to color it nicely if it is of paper we are going to color it nicely okay see i have made it colorful right and then what i am going to do is we are going to place this paper glass over it so paste it nicely with a cello tape okay yes like this paste it with the cello tape use good amount of cello tape so that the glass doesn't fall okay yes it's going to be really unique hat see how it is looking yes so we have pasted the cello tape everybody everybody has pasted the cello tape lovely now what we are going to do is we are going to cut the tidbits any colorful tidbits okay any shape any size come on cut it with the scissor yes you can choose any color newspaper tidbits are also fine okay take the tidbits few green color tidbits i'm going to use 
few tidbits I'm going to take off. Silver color. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to paste it. Okay. Few golden color. And then I am going to take my fevicol. Yes, you can take fevicol and we are going to paste it. Wonderful children. My children are doing amazing job. Wonderful children. And are you all enjoying? Yes, everybody is enjoying, right? That's amazing. What I can do is I am just going to put few dots like this and I'm going to paste it. Come on. Very good. If you do not have glitter tidbits, it is absolutely fine. You can stick newspaper tidbits. You can choose any other color tidbits. Okay. Craft paper hai. To craft paper tidbits. Colorful craft paper tidbits you can choose. Okay. This is how we are going to decorate our sombrero. Yes. What a unique name, right? Just like my children. Yes, you all are also unique. Right? So, here also I have decorated. Now, on the cup. See, over here also, I am going to paste fevicol and I am going to decorate the cup as well. Okay? Yes. Try to decorate the cup as well. Yeah. With the colorful tidbits. Very good, Bachas. Everybody is doing an amazing job. Wonderful. Sombrero is amazing art. Yes. Wonderful. So, this is how we have cut. Okay. We have decorated. Now, what if you want, you can paste this glittery glittery over here. Okay. Or as you can hear also, you can just paste few tidbits like this. And now what are we going to do is, we are going to, see our hat is ready. It is wet, but chaha, be very careful. Now we are going to turn her like this and we are going to paste these ribbons on both the sides. Okay, come on, let's do that. Just take a little amount of fevicol. You can even staple them. But be very careful while using stapler. Okay. Yes. See. Apply a little fevicol. And paste it. Okay. Over here as well. Take a little amount of fevicol. Apply it on the edge. And paste it. Yes, this ribbon will help you to tie up your sombrero. Okay. Yes, see how it looks. Amazing, right? So our sombrero is ready. So come on, let's wear the sombrero. Isn't it amazing, children? Yes, it's amazing and very unique art. So remember the name sombrero. Come on, come on, everybody, wear your hat and show it to ma'am. I'm waiting to see you all. Wow! Everybody did amazing job. Everybody, come on, give me a high five in the air because your work is really amazing. Super job done, children. Everybody is super duper. So come on, everybody, make a thumb charge. Ding, 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 ding. Wonderful, children. I am really very happy that you all are doing it so well. Really happy, happy faces. Wonderful. So, children, today we visited North America and South America continents, right? And we learned so many different new things. So, everybody keep these things. Lock it in your mind, okay? Because these are really amazing things, right? And not only this, in the next session, we are going on a virtual trip to USA. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to explore United States of America. So please do not forget to attend the session because it's going to be fun. So come on, I'm going to wear my hat and I'm going to be ready for the next session too. Which is going to be the virtual trip to 
United States. Okay, and I hope you have enjoyed this session too along with Komal Ma'am. If yes, make your thumb down. Ding 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 ding. Wonderful children. I'll be waiting for you in the next session. So please do join me and do not forget to submit your work of this sombrero hat. I'll be waiting for that too. Okay. So till then, bye bye, bachas. Enjoy your day. Bye bye. Hope to see you soon. And remember, I'm going to share a video just after the session. So please do not forget to watch that video. Watch that video very carefully and please submit your work on the portion. Okay? And remember, Komal Ma'am loves you a lot. Bye, my smarty pies. Bye bye. Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly 